Hello girlfriends! I am back with another video. First of all, let's just talk about my makeup for right now. Isn't it awesome? I'm like, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Hmm. I tried a few things for the first time and they have surprisingly really turned out this time. Like, I was a bit nervous, but yeah, I like how it looks. And if you want to check out how I got to this fabulous look, I'll just link the video somewhere up here and you can check it out. Okay, so today we're going to talk about something very interesting and as a part of my job, I look at these things a lot and I thought I'd share with you how trends are made. So Pantone is um, this huge company which releases their color of the year every year and this specific color is meant to rule across industries so this color would be trending in makeup fashion apparel accessories even home and finishing so this year they have released their color of the year and it's called living coral somewhere and it is forecasted to be the biggest color of 2019 so i normally love anything coral not makeup just clothes and I just thought I'll just rummage to my wardrobe and see what I have in this shade that would, I don't know, I could wear for the next few months because I don't really want to invest in too many pieces. So I thought I might as well check what I have. And I found some interesting pieces which I want to share with you. So let's begin. So in no apparent order, I have here this Kate Hill clutch, which I got ages ago from strand bags, cable maybe. And it's got this really cool metallic zip and a really nice lining. So it's got another zip inside and some pockets for your phone and cards and things like that. So I haven't gotten much use out of this clutch but I'm wanting to use it a lot in this coming year. So this is my statement piece that I have in the color of the year. Let's move on to something else. Okay, this I haven't even opened yet. It's this um, triangle ring with some coral filling in there and I haven't even worn this yet, but I'm really looking forward to wearing this a lot. This is, I actually bought this for my Indian wear because I was going for some bohemian kind of look lately. But how cool is that? A little pop of color and I am just in love with this and I'll be wearing more of this now okay moving on to some clothes now this is a very very bright color and I was very careful because I was worried that this color would not suit my skin tone as much and it'll just look too bright and I'm, I usually go for lighter tones so I did not invest too much in clothes I just like got accessories like bags and jewelry and stuff but I do have a few pieces which I like wearing I guess and first we have this jag kind of blouse it's pretty see-through it's got this metallic zip running all the way down and this door sting thing here and I wear this in winter a lot it's like a crepe kind of fabric it's kind of warm and every time I've worn this, I've gotten quite a bit of compliment that this color matches my skin tone for some reason. So this I have held on. This is quite old actually. I got it a few years ago. I've held on to it just because, I don't know, people compliment me when I wear it. So I thought, yeah, I'll keep it. It still fits. So the other thing I have is this blazer. It's more orangey than coral, but I could pass it off as coral, I guess. It's a formal blazer, hope you can see that. And it's very really short length, short sleeved. I can even roll the sleeve up if I want to. And it's not put no particular brand, it's called Niney. Niney, I think I got it from the $10 shop or something. And I have held on to this, not much wear out of this either because I just, I'm scared to wear colors like this sometimes, but with a nice black dress. And it'll like bring a pop to your formal outfit. And I think it's really cool to have around. And I have kept this. 
Now, final, final thing. I don't have a lot of things, but my final thing are these funky wedges. So these I got ages ago because not that I was loving the color at the time, I was just loving wedges. And it has this woven matte detailing here and some cork screw cork thing here and these are from novo probably spend like 50 bucks on them and i haven't gotten to wear this too much because it's so hard to match with an outfit but if i wear something all black with the pop of color at your feet that will be something awesome to do and um yep so these are my coral colors in my wardrobe now i would love to know what you have in your wardrobe that is the color of the year just send me pictures right below in the comments so let's do this let's show me what she got and tell me know what you let me know what you think about um the color of the year do you think it's too bright what pieces can we buy in it what pieces should we not buy in it the other thing with the color of the year is it's also trending in makeup. So you'll see a lot of sunset eyes, dusk palettes, and tangerine lips, and peachy blushes. That color does not go well with my skin tone, so I'm not going to do anything in makeup with the color of the year. I might try to do orange eyes one time, but yeah, that's it. So that was it for today, people. Thank you for tuning in, and um, keep watching for more videos like this. Let me know what you think. Send me your photos down below and I'll see you next time. Mwah!